The Broncos played the Vikings to start week one of the preseason, a contest that offered promise, redemption, and my personal favorite, shame. If you want actual analysis on the existential nature of judging the Broncos' run defense, which looked like my toilet after a Popeye spicy chicken binge, you can watch my daily show, noon o'clock, only on Phantom. The Swag Kelly era of being the backup quarterback for the Denver Broncos has begun. His ability to hit wide open receivers and only throw one interception has won him the backup job at quarterback over future theme restaurant waiter Paxton Lynch. Denver's giant boner for Swag is matched only by the perfection of Swag Kelly as this team's eventual starting quarterback. This team has a chub to penetrate the hole, a butt at tight end. Von Miller gets sexually aroused anytime he sacks a quarterback the signs are there you just have to know where to look so this is my complete and total overreaction to a quarter and a half of pedestrian quarterback play in one preseason game swag for starter Isaiah McKenzie returned a punt for a touchdown and basked in the sweet redemption of the end zone. McKenzie fumbled five times last season on punt returns, but all he needed to shine was a 20-yard cushion, five seconds to make a decision, and a field full of guys who will be trying to convince me to buy supplements at Complete Nutrition in a month. No, I don't need the green tea extract, you asshole. But hey... You take your wins where you can get them in life, so congrats to Isaiah McKenzie. I'm sure you're going to make the Montreal Alouettes very happy. And finally, Paxton Lynch is objectively unqualified to be on an NFL roster. He is a waste of a roster spot. He is a waste of money, time, effort, and his existence itself is a slap in the face of the meritocracy that is sport. Paxton Lynch did something I did not think was physically possible to do. Make me think less of him. Last season, Paxton Lynch's lone time on the field was defined by tucking, running, getting sacked, throwing picks, and crying on the sideline. Literally thousands of Denver Sports Talk hosts have attempted to explain his inability to improve in any single way as a player. Hordes of beat reporters and TV anchors have pondered the question. Maybe Lynch isn't getting the coaching he needs. Maybe he has some kind of interpersonal dark struggle weighing him down. Maybe Paxton Lynch is shape blind. That's like being colorblind, but... We with shapes. Actually, I think that's just blind. Normal blind. Paxton Lynch is blind, guys. Fortunately for the rest of the NFL, Paxton Lynch is now an untradeable boat anchor who can no longer weigh another franchise down with suck. Next week, we answer the question, has a coach ever been fired in the middle of a preseason game? And can Vance Joseph be the man to make that history? Only on Phantom.